It's the remarkable story of rebellion, now marred with controversy. The Lord spoken to me. Visions of what's to come. The rise of good against evil. I recently attended the Toronto International Film Festival and finally saw The Birth of a Nation. It is hands down an amazing and powerful film and one I urge you to see. In my opinion, it is Oscar worthy and by most accounts, this is Nate Parker's most brilliant work and his shining moment. Unfortunately, it's another moment from his past some 17 years ago that's threatening to steal the spotlight from the film and from Parker. I sat down with him and the rest of the cast for a series of what you can imagine were intense but heartfelt interviews about this film and their message to people who may be reluctant to go see it. The reality is, is one person doesn't make a film. You know, over 400 people contributed to this film. You know, when it took away from their families, believed in the story of Nat Turner, the legacy of Nat Turner, the possibility that could come from a story like this being told. Um, the reality is we don't get a lot of these. So the message of this movie is bigger than me, it's bigger than my opinion on anything. It's, 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 it's something that's important that people need to see and people need to introduce into the conversation. I'm very proud of the work that we've all done. Yeah. We've all given our hearts and our souls to it. Not just, uh, not just one person, but many of us. He inspired many of us. This is all of our film. For the women of the movie, news of Parker's 17-year-old rape case was clearly something they wrestled with, particularly Gabrielle Union, who herself is a rape survivor. Would you have done this knowing what you know now? I read your oh, beautiful op-ed piece. Going in, knowing about that rape case from 17 years ago, would you have said yes to doing this movie? You know, I hate hypotheticals. I'm, I'm, cause a coulda, woulda, yeah. a coulda, woulda, shoulda makes you look amazing. I can look like a saint on a coulda, woulda, shoulda, but that's not the reality. The reality is I didn't know, um, and I took the film because it dealt with sexual violence, because my character was sexually assaulted, and I wanted to show the impact on the psyche and on the family and as, uh, as a community of African Americans, and, and specifically with black women, um, nothing has changed. Asia Naomi King and Anjanu Ellis, who put on powerful performances as Nat Turner's wife and mother, respectively, echo those sentiments. People need to do what they need to do for themselves. I'm, I'm not going to try and convince anyone in either direction. All I can say for me is, we created this film to educate and to empower. So however you can do that for yourself, then do that. We cannot extricate ourselves from our art, no matter how painful it is, no matter how angry we are with the artist. We can't do it. We can't do it because when we do it, we lose stories about Nat Turner. And that's what this movie is about. It's not about Nate Parker. It's about Nat Turner. I pray you sing a new song. Let the high plains of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations. But despite the controversy, the film, which landed a $17.5 million distribution deal at the Sundance Film Festival, received a standing ovation during its premiere in Toronto. I, I didn't learn, I didn't have the benefit of learning about Nat Turner when I was in, uh, in grade school. Uh, yeah, I grew up 42 miles uh, east of where the rebellion happened. So you can imagine learning about this person in the absence of heroes uh, was, it meant a lot to me. Parker, who was accused and later acquitted of raping a fellow student at Penn State in 1999, beamed with excitement as he presented the film he wrote, starred in, and directed to a packed crowd. My faith is everything to me. You know, uh, even when putting together this film, you know, Nat Turner, like learning all the things about him, they said Nat Turner um, was known, never known to drink. Uh, never known to have a nickel in his pocket and was constantly in prayer and meditation. I think there's so many lessons to be learned from Nat Turner's desperate faith and, uh, and his God that he, that he has a purpose that any situation that uh, the Lord put him in in those in the in 18, early 1800s all culminated in him making a desperate sacrifice for his people. The Birth of a Nation hits theaters October 7th. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Jasmine Simpson.